Once upon a time, there was a girl. She was young, kind, and innocent, and lived with the fairies in the forest. She was alone, but she did not mind. Who's there? One day, she met a boy. So the fable is true. What fable? The girl in the forest. I didn't really believe it myself. Are you sure you're real? Um, yes. So, did you want to play with me? Where are we going? <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're just gonna have fun. Good job, Harris. Right. But how do I get down? Your crown, sir. I could stay like this forever. You could, you know. The spirits wouldn't mind. What are those lanterns for, anyway? For the spirits of this forest. Wait. Does this mean you're not a spirit? Of course not. I'm just a normal girl. Are you seriously not cold? Do I feel cold to you? No. But you have to agree, it's very odd. Is it? I guess it's a mystery then. Tamara. Hmm? I'm starting school in Kirk Hall tomorrow. I'm moving away. Oh. What sort of things are you going to be learning? Runes, alchemy, drafting, probably a whole lot of things. You have to know a lot to be an academic mage. Never really wanted to be a mage, but spending time with you changed my mind. Oh, I wish you hadn't changed your mind. You know, you could always come with me. What? I mean, come on. Clearly you know some magic already. And don't you think it'll be more fun than hanging out in this damp forest? I can't. The spirits wouldn't like it. And my sister. I'll save you. Huh? I give my word. <gasps> I swear it. Oh dear. Get away from her! It's okay, Harris. It's just a misunderstanding. No, it's not. Harris, no, stop. Listen to me. <coughs> yes, I did it. You idiot. Wait, what? Who do you think saved me in that fable? It wasn't you. Get out. You don't belong. You never listened to me. You even read the fable. The spirit saved me from your kind. Is that why you never asked about my arm? Guilty! Guilt! Guilty! <laughs> we were having a heartfelt goodbye. And then you had to ruin it. We missed you. You were out with the academics. We wondered if you would break your contract. No chance of that. How many years until my contract will be fulfilled? We should add a few years. Yes! contract. Oh, Harpocrates, Lord of Science, unleash your thunderous quiet. Exordior! Huh? Ah! Uh, uh, who are you? Why are you doing this? Why? I wrote my mastery thesis on you. After we met ten years ago, I'm not here to harm you. I merely wish to fulfill a promise I made. It's me, Harris. You are not welcome here. And we resigned our tolerance in your presence. Who are you to change your fate? She is rightly ours. 
I don't negotiate with false idols. Ow! Let go of me! Ugh! You're literally the worst! I hate you! Now, Tamora, be a good girl and stop struggling. We're almost to the gate. Ah, uh, looks like our time has run out quicker than I anticipated. It's so good. A pity to waste such an expensive spell. If all goes to plan, plenty more where that came from. No! Ah, good. Your friends were surprised enough by my blitz attack that they didn't think to hide the gate. Get your hands off me, you creep! You have to exit this place on your own two feet. Must you be so violent? This is my good suit. I refuse! You just said you can't make me, so no! That's not quite right. Terribly sorry, Tammy. Ah! <coughs> Welcome to Kirk Hall, my home. Yours too, I guess, though it's been almost 300 years. It's changed a lot since you were last year. I'm sorry, this must be a great shock. <laughs> wow. That went off with barely itch at all. I've been planning this for so many years now. And I thought I had managed to prepare for any hiccups, but there wasn't a single one. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Speaking of that, I need to make sure you don't sneak off, my dear. Don't worry, I'll take these off when we get to the academic society. The gentlemen will all want to meet you. Well, I'm sure they will once they realize that you're, in fact, real and not a figment of my imagination. A lot of them think that anything Orphic is completely poppycock. And that is, of course, poppycock. Oh. You're a spirit? I thought Harris destroyed all you back at the forest. I'm actually, happy you came on me right now. I created theories, but I didn't think it was going to be something like this. I think it has something to do with the Orphic territory chasing me or something that I don't really understand. Causing trouble you go around. Well, sometimes I watch TV and I talk directly to the camera, but it only leads me to resorting to yelling. I'm glad he didn't destroy you, but he broke my contract with you, didn't he? What about my sister? What can I do? I'll do anything. Tamora, do keep up. Those cuffs will tighten the further you are from me. And I don't want to hurt you. How do I do that? I agree to these terms. Now tell me how to get out of this mess. Altered? Just admit You're gonna listen to me for once! I wish I hadn't met you! I... I wish... I wish you hadn't broken my contract. You hurt me! You never listened! Did you think... Did you even think about what I wanted? You knew I was! You said so! And you said that I was the one who inspired you to be an academic mage. Did you want to hurt me? You know what happened to me? My family. Everyone. It's cold. Oh, gods. What am I going to do now? What have I done? <laughs>